The Markle Sparkle. Meghan glitters in a £3,400 roll in Murray gown and Diana's bracelet as she joins Harry for a charity performance by Cirque du Soleil at the Royal Albert Hall. The Duchess of Sussex looked glamorous in a glittering gown as she joined Prince Harry for a charity performance at the Royal Albert Hall on Wednesday night. Meghan, who is six months pregnant, wore a sparkling £3,400 floor-length dress by Roland Murray as she joined her husband to watch the premiere of Cirque du Soleil's Totem at the central London venue. The picture of elegance, the royal accessorized the show-stopping number with a bracelet that belonged to Princess Diana and a black satin clutch bag by go-to designer Givenchy. The performance was organized in aid of Prince Harry's charity, Santa Ball which supports children and young people affected by HIV in Southern Africa. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, met representatives from the charity in Cirque du Soleil, including performers, before taking their seats as guests of honor. It comes just hours after Meghan made her first appearance of the day, visiting an animal welfare charity in North London. After a quick turnaround from the head-to-toe cream ensemble she was sporting earlier today, Meghan was ready for a night at the theatre in a stunning gown. The Roland Murray sequined tulle number featured cropped sleeves, a demure front slit and a figure-flattering cut that hugged the Duchess' blooming baby bump. Allowing all eyes to remain on the dress, Meghan kept her accessories symbol and paired back. In a nod to Prince Harry's late mother, Meghan wore one of Diana's bracelets, a gold open bangle with two dark stones. Meghan previously wore the heirloom on the first day of the Royal Tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga and Fiji in October last year. The Givenchy clutch is a firm favourite of the Royal and has been seen on a number of previous occasions, including the Royal visit to Dublin in July last year and at her first solo Royal engagement in London last September. Her shoes are believed to be a pair of 378 pounds black strap heeled sandals by Stuart Weitzman. Meanwhile, Prince Harry, 34, opted for a smart navy blue suit, which he wore with a crisp white shirt and a dark red tie. Earlier today, the Duchess paid a visit to an animal welfare charity she is now supporting as patron in northwest London. She wore an old Armani coat worth 2,000 pounds, $1,556 for her second public engagement of the week at the Mayhew Animal Home. According to onlookers, animal lover Meghan was particularly taken by a one-year-old Jack Russell cross named Minnie who was set to go up for adoption. She wanted to take her home but said, We can't take another dog before the baby as our hands are too full. The Duchess paired her coat, worn previously on a visit to Sussex, with a Stella McCartney bag and £24.99, $32 polo neck dress from High Street Store H&M's maternity range. Meghan, 37, finished off her nude ensemble with a pair of towering slingbacks, just two days after joking that she was navigating walking in heels with her bump one day at a time. During her visit today Meghan petted a pooch named Rhubarb and met Wally Struthers, a formerly homeless pet refuge service user, who was there with his two staffies, Azzy, and Galley. The Duchess also cooed over ex-resident Maggie previously known as Truffle, with her new owner Emma. The Jack Russell puppy was rescued from a suspected puppy farm in October last year. The pup who stole Megan's heart, Minnie, is described by Mayha as a shy and sensitive girl who can be timid around strangers and gets spooked by loud noises. Megan met staff, volunteers and beneficiaries during her visit today, and heard more about the charity's various initiatives, from community engagement to international projects. She also learned about a number of projects run by the charity, designed to improve the lives of animals and people and to better communities both in London and internationally. These initiatives include animal therapy visits, work with homeless people and their pets, animal welfare schemes such as the Trap, Neuter and Return program, and international projects including dog rabies vaccinations in Kabul. Megan spent time touring the facilities meeting members of the community and animals who have benefited directly from the work of the charity. The former actress had two rescue dogs, a beagle named Guy and a Labrador Shepherd mix called Bogart. While Guy came to the UK with Meghan when she moved from Toronto to live with Harry, and has since been spotted riding with the Queen, Bogart was too old to travel and had to stay behind with friends. Harry and Meghan, who are expecting their first child in the spring, also have another dog 
a black Labrador. Tonight, the couple will join a Royal Albert Hall audience to watch Cirque du Soleil performers displaying their acrobatic skills in aid of charity sent to ball. The couple, who recently revealed their first child is due in late April or May, will tonight be guests of honor for the evening premiere of the Canadian Circus Company's production Totem.